Hey all, Dave from Engineering here, Lionel. Just wanted to show you the example of how our Bluetooth with Legacy Engines is going to work. Now that we've cataloged Bluetooth with Legacy Engines in 2017 C2 catalog. So here I have the brass hybrid and it does have our Bluetooth module on board. Um, we still have test code in it as we're just ironing out the kinks on this, but it's working as expected and working great. So. I have the engine programmed as engine number one in the legacy remote and I will start it up that way. You'll notice that it comes up as Milwaukee Mikado, that's just because this is test code. So whistles on, stack smoke, you got everything. Normal legacy engine works, coupler works. So you can see that it works well with the legacy remote. Now, if I bring up my phone, my phone's a Samsung, which means this is a Android. So you can see that we are working on the Android Lion Chief app, and here it is right now. And um, should be out probably the end of September or so. We just have a few bugs left to work out. But uh, with the app open, you click on the numbers here. That brings you up to the engine select menu. You can see the brass hybrid. Tap on that, and you hit this little um, chain link button, which means you connect to the engine. And then it'll try to connect to it. it. Takes a second or so. The engine will uh, blow the whistle once just to let you know you're connected. And you're back out of this menu, and now you have full control of the engine. So, whistle works. Now, there's no quilling whistle with this because it's just one button, but you will know that, notice that the whistle steam still works on the engine. You got the bell button, just on or off, no single ding like you have with the Legacy. The dialogue. Tower made up and waiting on a clear track. Am I cleared to the outbound? Over. Roger, your track is clear. Dispatcher, over. You got the coupler buttons. Copy that, dispatcher. I've got a clear signal. Out. Always forget about that second part. You got the coupler buttons here, um, front and rear. Now the app will know if the um, engine has a front coupler or if it has a rear coupler. If it has both, both of them will be lit up. If it only has rear, like most of our steams, only the rear will be lit up. And in the case of no couplers, like on baseline chief engines, they'll both be grayed out. Did you see that that works as well? Now you got the direction button over here, and you also have the throttle. Now if you go into this gear, this is basically the engine settings menu. And here you can toggle the smoke on and off. Then you can also set your momentum level and speed limit. So, you can see that we already have the image of the brass hybrid on here, along with 9999, like most pilot engines, um, that's what we use. So, if I'm blowing the whistle, you say you have your grandson or another kid visiting and you want to let them play with the train, you give them the app to play with, and then at the same time, with the legacy remote, you still have, you still have full control. So basically you have two devices controlling this engine at one time. So uh, say if little Johnny decides to drive this engine way too fast going down the track, you can hold the brake button down, press reset, whatever you need to do to get it to come to a stop. So uh, I lovingly call this grandpa mode. Hopefully that doesn't offend anybody, but uh, I found this to be a very cool feature where both of them are uh, able to run the train at the same time. Okay, one more thing I want to show on the app for legacy engines with Bluetooth. Um, if you go into the sound menu, there are different sound settings here. So we have a master volume setting, which will uh, raise and lower the master sound. Plus you have individual sliders for the whistle, for the bell, for the dialogue. And Tower made up and waiting on a clear track. Am I clear to make a move? Over. Roger that, take the green. Taking the signal. Out. And for the background sounds as well. Now, I do want to point out that one thing um, with legacy Bluetooth engines that will not work with the app that does work with both Lion Chief and Lion Chief Plus engines is the pitch. So on Lion Chief and Lion Chief Plus engines, you can adjust the pitch of the horn slash whistle and the bell. You will not be able to do that with legacy Bluetooth engines because the rail sounds currently just can't support it. 
we are hoping that someday we'll be able to upgrade the rail sounds so that we will be able to do that but that's probably a project down the road because it involves a lot of uh, work a lot of code work and even hardware work so for now um, that's probably the only feature this app has that won't work with legacy bluetooth engines okay so now that we're disconnected from the app on my phone i can show you how to use the universal remote so universal remote is on press any channel you want to use uh, say two for this uh, for this exercise hold down the button till it starts blinking rapidly and that just clears out the channel in case there was a different engine on there before press the button again and it connects right away to the engine and then uh, just connected like any Lion Chief or Lion Chief Plus engine you got the announcements Dispatcher, the coal's at three quarters am I clear to make a move? over Roger, your track is clear, dispatcher over bell roger that, get ready to move out again, always forget about that last sequence and whistle. Hopefully you can see it on the video, but the whistle steam does work as well. So yeah, works with the uh, the legacy remote, cab 2, cab 1L, you get TMCC mode with the original cab. Works with the apps, the Apple app, the Android app that we'll be coming out with soon, and also with the universal remote. I just want to note that um, we're wrapping up an update on the universal remote, which will probably go live closer to the end of this uh, month and that will allow you to run any Lion Chief engine that Lionel has ever produced using this universal remote. So I know up until now there's been a list of incompatible engines and we've solved that problem and we'll be up to uh, be able to release the update soon uh, and hopefully that uh, gets everybody going with uh, what they want. Thanks for watching.